I brought 14 random Roblox developers from my Discord server to make a game, and after only developing for less than a week, the progress was very interesting. Let me tell you how it all happened. Me and my good friend Archie were in a VC with a bunch of my active members in my Discord server making stuff in Roblox Studio. He decided to randomly bring up the idea that all of us should make a game together just for fun. I wasn't going to be directly involved with the game at the start, and this just sounded like a dumb idea. So I let Archie handle the project and manage the team. That's when he created a new project in Roblox Studio as well as a Discord server. All of the developers immediately started to create various assets, scripts, animations, and a lot more for a game that didn't even have a name. They went pretty crazy. They randomly started throwing all of these things together to try and make a functional project. And everything that they were doing was directed by Archie, and there was no game plan for what the game was going to be about until the idea of a scuffed simulator came into Archie's head. And with that being said, all of the developers organized themselves and got to work. And well, the results were interesting. It's been about four days since the start of the game's development, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into when hopping onto the game for the first time. Why, hello, Brawl Battle from Brawl Dev YouTube channel. Oh my God, you just caught me in the middle of my development cycle. So, I see that you're here for the tour. Allow me to take you around, my dear son. Great. Now, as you may know, I am the owner of Scuffed Studios, and my team has been working relentlessly, day and night, for minimum wage. Minimum wage. First off, over here, you have the beautiful weapon shop. This will be located in the Neon City area. Doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, isn't it splendid? Over here! We have the weapon concepts. Over here, we have some background buildings currently in the midst of development. Don't these look absolutely superb? Have them in the back, make the city feel more alive. Yeah, their building's all right. Next up, we have the animation station. The animator's not here, so I can't show you this right now. Over here, if you come over to the waterfall, you'll see some fantastic VFX made by our professional VFX artist, Lehu. Over here, you can see some scraps and the development of Blender models implemented into our daily builds. Don't they look superb? <laughs> Over here, you have an absolutely splendid little build here from our builder, the best dev. It looks absolutely dazzling and will be implemented into the semi-island section of the map. But now, allow me to take you inside of the shops. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. It's very nice. Yeah, the UI hasn't been worked on yet. It's just the script so far. Why do I have 164,000 coins? I don't know. <laughs> it's such a weird number. What do we got here? Oh, looks like something that doesn't work. Hey, what about this? Same oh. thing. Oh, it makes a noise now. <laughs> it does make a noise. Oh. Does it woof yet? Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's it, that's dog. We got the FNAF Arcade. Yep, Rob's build building this right now. Oh, cool. This definitely wasn't taken from any previous game or anything. Yeah, I mean, I helped build it, so <laughs> shut up. Uh... What the heck yep. is this? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about it, son. Oh, I do move pretty fast. Oh, wait, what's this? Crosshair? Oh, that's pretty cool. Also, hmm. if you click on and off on the PvP thing, it changes. Yep. That, that looks kind of bad. <laughs> there were a couple of things in this game that did pique my interest, like this car that had really bad pathfinding. Wait, what the heck is that? Is that a car? Why is it? <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait. It's just moving back and forth. That is... Oh, that pathfinding, bro. That's that's um a very interesting way to make a car. <laughs> what is this car, bro? What, there's like text on top of it. What does that say? Wait, what is that? Is that Ragdoll Obliterator 40? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I didn't even know I could Ragdoll in this game. What? <laughs> Why is it just going back and forth like that? What? Like, who who designed this? Like, is... Oh, where did the car go? Um, okay. I guess... I guess the car is gone. 
So the next thing I noticed was this weird shaped building which the developers called the unknown. When I asked my friend Archie about it, he said it was for an extremely important quest later down the line when we implement more islands in the game. I was quick to notice that the head started following my character wherever it moved. Just like looking at this thing. Oh my goodness, it looks at me. I, <laughs> oh my God, I did not know that. Dude, what the heck? That thing is looking down on me so... Oh my god, I do not like that. Oh no, it's following me. There were other things in the game, like this shop system that shows the other items you can obtain, a quest system that doesn't seem to be functional at the moment, but definitely will add value to the gameplay, and even other things like a teleport system, some more buildings, animations, and UI. And that was basically all that there was to it as of right now. Considering how many developers and roles we have for the game, I wanted to see if I could fit into this project with whatever I can do to help. I wasn't sure how I was going to contribute since we already had a lot of scripters, builders, UI designers, animators, and even modelers, but our lead animator was actually nice enough to let me create an animation for one of the items, which was a shotgun. Now, you'd expect this animation to be like a reload or a shooting animation for it, right? Well, no, because everything in this game just has to be scuffed. The animation is the player inspecting it and shooting it below them so they can be sent flying into the air like it's recoil jumping in Arsenal. So I decided to help animate the shotgun tool that was going to be added to the game. While I attempt to make an animation for this new tool, let me tell you about something. So recently, I've been trying to expand my knowledge about the world and be more competent in solving problems that I may face throughout my lifetime. So to help with this, I've been using a service called Brilliant, which is the sponsor for today's video. Brilliant is a platform that allows you to learn with thousands of interactive lessons in subjects like computer science, math, data analytics, and AI. The way you learn from Brilliant is surprisingly effective with their approach. Each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with the concepts. It's even proven to be six times more effective than watching tutorial videos since you get to tackle these problems head on. Something important about learning is actually learning through problem solving rather than memorizing. And that's what these interactive courses allow you to do. Learning a little bit every day is also crucial to remembering the concepts. Brilliant promotes this through short daily lessons, gamification, and even leaderboards to keep you coming back to learn more. Some of the content I think you'll love are their interactive math courses like Vectors, which specializes in helping you master the basics of vectors and build problem solving skills. I think this would especially be helpful when understanding and implementing physics inside your Roblox games. With features like their drag and drop editor and their syntax free development environments, you can learn directly from your browser without the need for other learning tools. Go ahead and try Brilliant for free by clicking the first link in the description or visit brilliant.org slash brawldev for a full 30 days with a 20% off annual premium subscription using my link. Thanks again to Brilliant for the sponsorship and now back to the video. For this section of the video, I wanted to interview some of the developers by asking them a couple of questions about what they were working on. We looked at three developers working on different parts of the game, and the answers that I got were actually quite interesting. Yo, Subtrust, I heard you're one of the animators. Uh, could you walk me through what this station is over here? So I made this animation station because people were like accidentally deleting the the dummies that I was working on, and it was deleting all the animation files. So I had to clearly create like a station. Them. so that people can do stuff it's also important to have like this grid when you're animating it's actually way more helpful than you might think yeah come on show it i want to see the animations okay so here's the finished sprint animation that i made uh here mm, not bad not bad so i wanted to make it look a little bouncier because it's like a it's a it's not a joke game but you know it's it's more silly so the animation's a little bouncier than what you might see in other games but we also have a walk animation i can show you that too Here's the uh, current walk animation that we have for the game. If you notice, there's some models of the scuffed soda that we have, and oh, yeah? they have they have bite marks in them. Yeah, it's like the different stages of biting on the yeah, soda. Yeah, this can. is the diff. The, there's like this, but the can sticks. I'll, I'll fix it later. But here's what we have for it. This is what like this it's kind of gonna look like. Mm. There's a tiny bit left to do, but basically just throws it up in the air and then bites it. 
the original model's there, but it won't be there. Obviously, it'll like actually change to the bite marks. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Currently, I am the only animator on the game right now, so there's a lot of stuff to do. There's like nine different items. There's a bunch of different weapons. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm about to be expecting more great animations from you. So now you gotta get back to work. Get back to work. Oh. All right, Kiko, I know you're one of the scripters for this game. Can you tell me what you're working on right now, currently? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm working on the hotbar handler currently. I'm going to make an indicator that checks if the tool is equipped or not in the GUI. And if you want, you could look at the script. Hotbar handler, is this the only script that there is? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, like, what's, what's the purpose of this hotbar UI? Well, the purpose is to make make a customized version of the, of our hotbar because like the, uh, the current Roblox version of the hotbar is sucks and we're making a custom version just to like fit within the game I got you can I can I see what this hotbar looks like go ahead play test the game and you'll see the cola okay yeah yep what are you working on with the hotbar right now because it seems to be working just fine well it works just fine but it but like in reality, it's a bit vulnerable to the server, and you know there's there's there isn't really an indicator that tells you that it if you're equipped or not. All right, well I guess that's all my questions. I'll leave you off to do that then. Hello, it's me, ArchRS, owner and lead developer of Scuffed Studios, also good friend of Brawl Dev. Walk with me. Now you see, my dear boy, the development for Scuff Studios has not been a long one. It actually started about a week ago. Uh, I went into my good friend's server and stole about 10 of his developers. And I was like, hey fellas, you guys wanna make a game? Now, you may have noticed I've taken you down a dark alleyway, but it's not because I have any bad intentions. I actually want to educate you on the game. Future plans for the game. Currently right now, as it stands, we're currently working on the, the baseline, working on the simulator aspects, but this game will go far beyond that. I think my main goal with this game is anyone can make a simulator, but not everyone can make an experience. And my main idea with the experience is the map. Now, I believe you should have an image of the uh, the the concept art for the map, which uh, Subtrist will pop up on screen right now. Walk with me. <laughs> I want there to be plenty of POIs and achievements. I want to offer an almost open world experience in the concept idea of a simulator. And best believe it will be... What's the magic word? Scuffs. <laughs> now you get it! <laughs> what the f*** are you doing over there? <laughs> How do right, you get Trist there? Tristan's fired. <laughs> Get a new editor. So with that being said, this has been ArchRS, and I will see you fellas next time. <laughs> so finally, we've reached a week into development, and that's where we currently are. If we were able to achieve this much in one week, I'm definitely looking forward to what the next few weeks are going to look like, and that's the power of working with a big team. I have to say, even if this game flops once we finish it, the idea of working on a game with a team, no matter how big or small, is one of the most fun experiences you can have as a Roblox game developer. Sure, there will be times when everyone isn't on the same page, or people just lose motivation to work on a project, but when your team is built from a strong foundation and everyone is set to achieve an end goal that you all will work extremely hard towards, it is definitely worth it. At some point in your game development journey, I want you to experience the hardships and the laughs and the enjoyment of working with other people to develop games that all of you are passionate about creating, not necessarily for profit, but simply just because you can. And if it sounds difficult for you to find these people to work with, let me tell you this. Archie and I formed this team of 14, and we wouldn't have found these people if they weren't as passionate about creating Roblox games as much as we were. This all started from a Discord server where a community of aspiring Roblox game developers came together to help each other with issues and made friends with each other by regularly being stupid and talking about random stuff a bunch of times. It all happened to my server, Brawl Devs Hideout, which you can join to do the same. 
and find those people who could potentially become your game development buddies and achieve goals together. And that's something I'm extremely proud of seeing from my community, since that's what led to this point in my game development journey, but also for all of you. The day that I see my viewers make successful Roblox games and make friends from the community is when I know I've achieved everything I've wanted from these videos and building this community. I want to see where this game goes for many weeks or even months down this game development journey, and I can't thank you enough for everything that's been accomplished up until this point. I didn't mean for this outro to be as heartfelt as it was, but if you enjoyed this video and want to support the development of the game, I will have a link to the Scuffed Studios Discord server and Roblox group in the description and pinned comment of the video. Also, be sure to join my Discord server so you can get help with your game development journey and make friends by regularly interacting with the members there. This has been Braldev, and I will see you in the next video. Take care!